Hello fellow viewers from wherever you are, however you are, I hope you are having a good day and welcome to the first video ever that I'm going to do. And today I have quite quite some content to give you because um, I've been noticing a lot of ads that have been targeted towards people that are probably single but also recently are like promoting cheating on your partner. And I have a couple of examples. I have screenshots. I have my receipts. Because, like, first time I saw this, I was like, what? What am I seeing with my eyes? But, like, they're so weird. Because I've, the apps could be okay if it weren't for the fact that they mentioned cheating on your partner or being like, well, technically it isn't cheating. And it's so weird because, like... It's not the point, all right? Like, if you want to make a dating app with whatever you want, I don't care. But the thing is that they always make the person in the video in a relationship. And the problem with that came with when they're like, well, it's not cheating because it's an app. Well, that depends the situation, of course, and what kind of a relationship you are, if your partner is comfortable with that. But also... Why are you promoting that? Like, let, let's watch a few clips from the first video. If you want to cheat on your girlfriend, then just tell her how many waifus you have in Izakai slow life. So, if you were having doubts of if they were actually advocating for cheating, if you want to cheat on your girlfriend, why? If you're not satisfied in the relationship, leave. Have a conversation with them. Don't make them feel angry because you're dating a cartoon. Anyway, let's proceed. Waifu collecting game, and I have seven of them now. Waifu collecting. So not only it's advocating for cheating, it's also saying that women, women are collectibles. I don't know. I don't know about that, Doc. Um, I would like to see uh, people as humans and not collectibles. Like, huh? I'm sorry. Have I missed something? What makes it unique is that you can actually interact with every single one of your waifus and go on dates with them. And you can build and design your city however you want to and hold more waifus in it. So, t Oh my god, you can interact with them. Please go outside. Please, you can interact with real women as well, instead of actively choosing to cheat on your girlfriend. Go talk to your girlfriend, now that I think of it. Go talk to her. You got a girlfriend, apparently, which I highly doubt with that video, but, like, apparently you have one. So, you, you get the gist of it. You get the content, you know? It's, it's a waifu collector i guess it's a bit odd but like i wouldn't have a problem with it as much as like you could have a game with like cute girls the problem is two points there's two points with this ads that makes me uncomfortable one if you want to cheat on your girlfriend huh why would you want to do that talk with your partner uh, and if you it doesn't work, well, break up. It's better. And two, collect waifus. I don't know about you, but there's something about collecting women that makes me real uncomfortable. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Anyway, let's move on to the next ad that I saw. I have three girlfriends. Two are on winked and one is in person. I mean, I don't blame you. This app is spicy. So I have nothing against polyamorous people and people in polyamorous relationship. But it's a bit odd to say, Hey, I have two fake girlfriends and one in real girlfriend. First of all, does your in real life girlfriend know that you play this game with fake girlfriends? I don't know. I feel like these games are just like promoting talking to another person 
while you're in, in a relationship. But like, if you're not satisfied in your relationship, I will repeat. Talk with your partner, please. That is like the one thing you can do that can help a relationship. Communication. And then there's another one that I saw from the same app, which is Wink. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, as you can see, like, her boyfriend got jealous because, like, they were talking to a fictional boyfriend on the Wink. And, like, in some relationship, it may work. I don't judge if it does. But you need to communicate if they're comfortable with that. I remember when I was in a relationship, like, I would ask, be like, like Hey, are you comfortable if I have a fake dating app? But some people aren't. And clearly your partner in that case isn't. If he gets jealous, like, why, why are you so, like, happy about it? You're like, <laughs> he's not lying, like, my boyfriend is so jealous of my other boyfriend on the wink. Would you dump your real boyfriend for a fake one? Would you? I'm sorry, I wouldn't. But I, I have a f final ad, which, um... Uh, caught me a little bit off guard. I just started dating my stepbrother. Promoting incest. Of course there's some stepbrother sisters that aren't, you know, blood related. But we can all agree that it's pretty much a weird thing to date your stepbrother or sister. And it's a so, like, a problem with some families. Because of the jokes, because I have heard some stories where one of them were like, yeah, they make some weird sexual jokes because of the internet and you know the what are you doing step bro. So um, not cool, not cool. So anyway, let's let's proceed. <gasps> Rachel, you can't do that. So the other character is like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Which I understand because that would be the same reaction that I would have. I would, if my friend would be like, I'm dating my stepbrother. I would be like, you want me to pay for your therapy? Do you need therapy? Want to talk about it? It's something going on. No way it's normal. No, not in real life on whispers. Yeah. It's totally okay if it's non whispers or something. Oh, thank God. In whispers, you can live out your wildest fantasies without anybody knowing. Wildest fantasies? Include if dating your relative. Wow. I cannot believe it. Because all your secrets are safe on whispers. Are they safe on whispers? Are they? I don't know, I heard that character AI app uh, have some policies that they read. Apparently, I don't know what's that about. I should have done some research before making this video. But why would it need to be a secret? I'm scared. But anyway, those are all the ads that I decided to comment on. But there's a bunch more on TikTok. And what I wanted to make a point of is all these apps have the same thing, even though they're all different. They all have problematic features, collecting women, promoting, like, dating your siblings, promoting cheating, in one way or the other. They're all promoting something that is kind of toxic in their relationship. Keeping secrets from your relationship. I saw other ads, which is what, like, Oh, don't show this to your partner or they will get jealous. Well, maybe don't do that if your partner will feel insecure if you're going to do it. And what I want to get out before ending this video is if your relationship feels so unfulfilled that you need a kind of dating app. I, like, I can understand if you're single. 
and you want to have those kind of relationships without having one or if you cannot have one for the moment or if you want to have a kind of fake relationship but you don't want a commitment i can understand but if you're in a relationship you need to make sure that your partner is okay with it because like i wouldn't feel comfortable necessarily if my partner had that like especially if they didn't say so like i would be like hmm kind of odd that you keep it from the secret from me you know so yeah uh weird that it's promoting those kind of things and to end off the video communication is key little thumbs up on the sky and remember take care of yourself drink water eat food and sleep well and remember you're doing good kid <laughs> well with that say ladies and gentlemen and all of the above and in between I do hope you have a great morning, day, or night, and I'll see you all in the next video.